Federal government is expected to declare its first ever tier one water shortage on the nation's largest reservoir, Lake Mead, today. The announcement will mean water cutbacks in Arizona and Nevada as early as next year. It is a major challenge to a region already plagued by widespread drought. NBC News correspondent Josh Letterman is at Lake Mead with details. So, Josh, walk us through this more. Help us understand this Pier 1, what it is, what's triggering the announcement, and why Lake Mead is so important. Well, some 40 million people get their water, at least in part, uh, from the Colorado River system, including Lake Mead, the largest reservoir on that system, Joe. And if you look just at where I'm standing, this beach did not used to be a beach. Just a few years ago, all of this would have been underwater. And if you look over here, you can see that white line on the hillside in front of me. That's where the water line used to be back in only 2000. Since 2000, the water levels here in Lake Mead have already fallen about 130 feet. And that's how we ended up where we're at today amid this extreme drought that's been building over the years. Uh, under the drought mitigation system that these states that rely on the Colorado River system put in place years ago, once the water levels here in Lake Mead fall below 1,075 feet or are predicted to by the end of the year, that triggers a water shortage declaration. Well, guess what? We passed that level back in May. And so today, the Bureau of Reclamation anticipated to issue this first ever water shortage declaration, which will trigger water cuts starting next year. So, Josh, I know you spoke to a water authority official in Nevada about this. I want to play some of what he said. The pie is shrinking. We have 40 million Americans, seven states, and two countries that rely upon this river, and there's going to be less water for everyone in the 21st century. So there's a domino here. That, of course, means less water for residents, but also for farmers. How are they responding to this? Well, by and large, the largest portion of these cuts is going to affect uh, Arizona and agriculture in that state, with Arizona set to lose about a half million acre feet of its water supply from the Colorado River. That's about a fifth of the water that Arizona normally relies on for that system. So in Pinal County, for example, in Arizona, farmers anticipating they may only get half of their water deliveries next year uh, that they have been having in the past years. And so they either are going to have to find other alternatives find groundwater they can use or essentially leave their fields unplanted. And across these states, Arizona, Nevada, even California, they are making contingency plans, trying to cut their water usage so they don't have major problems as we move on, potentially from tier one to tier two and tier three in the future, which could mean water cuts even to major cities like Phoenix and Tucson, Joe. All right. Josh Letterman reporting from Lake Mead. Josh, thank you.